Hey folks, okay, so today I thought I would show you something interesting that I saw recently, just yesterday. Ah. Um, it is void, this keyword. We don't use this very often uh, because most of the time it's not all that useful, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> well, maybe it's mostly not, I think it's not useful because I don't use it very much and maybe I'd find it to be useful. But basically, um, here's what void does. Um, if, if we take an expression like two plus two, that's going to have um, a, um, that, that evaluates to a value and that value is four. But if you stick void in front of it, then that value will be, um, here, maybe, do, do, there we go. That um, expression, so the reason that didn't work, actually, here, let me bump that up a little bit so you can actually see this. Uh, the, reason, uh, the reason that we get four here is because we have an expression here and that expression evaluates to four. The reason that we got nan here is because um, the way that this expression was parsed is it said void two plus two, and that's nan. So I wrap that in parentheses to say, hey, JavaScript evaluate this expression first, and uh, then we void whatever that expression is, and that's going to get us undefined every time. Um, that is what void it does. So um, it also is like applicable for um, if we did a set interval, for example, and that's going to take a handler and we'll do nothing and then we'll set that interval for 5,000 uh, milliseconds, that's going to return a value of 182. And if I wanted to say don't return any value, then that is going to evaluate that expression, which is a function call, uh, call expression. And then um, I just realized my head is in the way. There you go. <laughs> Uh, so then it, uh, that uh, expression is evaluated, then we void that, which effectively says take that expression and make it evaluate to undefined. So um, why is this useful and why did I use set interval as my example? Well, yesterday I saw this really cool demo from Dan Abramoff about um, using hooks with uh, React Springs use transition hook uh, to make this really fancy looking animation thing going on here. And one thing that I noticed in here was this use effect right there. And right there he's using void. Now let's take out that void and see why Dan would use void there. I'll pop open the uh, terminal and um, well, we all right, I got rid of the warning. Okay, so here we go. Uh, okay, some of these are not what I'm looking for. Let's do this and we'll refresh that. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, we should, looks like there's a class in here somewhere. Um, but we're looking for this warning right here. An effect function must not return anything besides a function which is used for cleanup. You returned 74, which was the ID, uh, the interval ID that is returned from set interval. So if you want to have an inline arrow function, um, that's uh, just on a, on a single line like this. This is a perfectly good um, example for when that, that could be useful. Then the way that you do that is um, by simply saying void. Now, um, is it worth using a uh, kind of not well-known feature of JavaScript to do this kind of thing? Eh, I don't know, um, like let's, let's compare this. So we'll comment that out. And then instead of void, We'll just put this um, in curly brackets. And uh, yeah, I'm not getting prettier because I have I'm not in the editor. I'm just in the um, in the embed, I guess. This is an embedded URL. But anyway, uh, so is void with that better than this? Um, I would actually argue probably not um, because uh, with this, I can say really easily debugger and console log, whereas with uh, the void situation, I'd have to say console log something or, and then void set interval, blah, blah, blah. Um, or I think you might be able to get away with debugger, debugger, semicolon. Um, but it just seems like it's harder to, to make updates to. So I typically would probably do this, but if you're feeling like in the mood for some fun JavaScripty things, then feel free to, to stick that void on there and you can do it in a single line um, and not worry about the implicit return. Um, and so yeah, that's kind of fun. That's all that I've got for you today. Uh, I've got to get going, got some stuff to do, um, but I, 
I hope that's interesting. Check out that void operator, kind of interesting, uh, interesting stuff you can do there. All right, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.